I've made several different kinds of flight simulators over the years. A flight simulator gives you the feeling of flying an airplane without leaving the ground, or even your house. I make do-it-yourself videos that help people build these flight simulators at home. My name is Matt Thomas, and I want to build a new flight simulator for the National Airline History Museum. Hundreds of museum visitors will get the opportunity to try it and feel what it's like to fly an airliner. The simulator will be a fun, hands-on aviation experience for everyone. The flight simulator will have three screens, airplane controls, dual throttle quadrants, and switch panels and other features. And there's an important second part to this project. After I finish building the flight simulator, I will produce a DIY video and instruction manual so anybody anywhere can build the same thing. It'll be a big freestanding structure, but it will come apart in two sections so you can fit it through the doorways in your house. You build the cockpit frame with materials from a home improvement store, and you can order the controls online. A lot of my customers already have these controls. The monitors, computer, and peripherals are all standard off-the-shelf stuff. I want lots of people to get the opportunity to fly this new simulator, so I'd like to take it to the Kansas City Maker Fair in June so the attendees can try it out. After the fair, it will go to the museum. This project will cost some money, so I'll need your help to make this possible. The money we raise will purchase the computer, monitors, software, controls, and other expenses for the simulator. I started a fundraising campaign on kickstarter.com. If you contribute to this project, you get gifts in return. The more you contribute, the more gifts you receive. Click the link in the show notes or below this video to see all the details about that. Kickstarter is a crowdsourced fundraising website for creative projects. You make your contribution online with a credit card, but your card only gets charged if we reach the fundraising goal by the deadline. Then you get your gifts. I get the funding for the flight simulator so I can build it and give it to the museum. And I'll also produce the DIY video and instructions. But Kickstarter is all or nothing, and we only have 30 days. So if we don't reach the funding goal by the deadline, then nothing, nothing happens. Your credit card doesn't get charged, and nothing gets built, and the project dies. Now I really want this project to happen, so I've worked on ways to reduce the fundraising goal. For example, the good people at GoFlight Technologies volunteered to donate some components to the project. So that's money we don't have to raise. So again, if we do reach our fundraising goal, then everybody gets something. You get the gifts associated with your contribution level. The museum gets a flight simulator so hundreds of visitors can fly it. The attendees at the Maker Fair get to fly the simulator. And anybody can build the same simulator by purchasing my DIY video. So please click the link in the show notes or right below this video and that'll take you to our Kickstarter page where you can look at the gifts that we're offering and you can also make a contribution. So thank you very much for supporting this project.